Russians gun down women and kids making last-ditch escape near Kyiv killing seven as Ukraine capital prepares for siege. Russian forces have gunned down women and children killing seven civilians who are allegedly trying to escape a village near Kyiv. It comes after defiant Volodymyr Zelensky vowed Russia will only take Kyiv if Vladimir Putin's troops raise it to the ground as the Ukrainian capital prepares for a siege. Women and children sit on the floor of a quarter in a hospital in Mariupol, Eastern Ukraine Credit, AP. Russian forces have been accused of gunning down women and children who were fleeing outside of Kyiv Credit, AFP. Volodymyr Zelensky has vowed Russian troops will only be able to take Kyiv if they raise it to the ground credit, Getty. A Russian tank column that attempted to move into the outskirts of Kyiv being ambushed by artillery and missile strikes credit, the mega agency. A member of the Ukrainian forces helps a woman to cross the Urban River as she evacuates credit, Reuters. The battle around the capital is raging on as Russian forces close in, with brave Ukrainian soldiers setting up tank traps on the streets to repel invaders. Putin's troops are inching closer and are believed to be just 15 miles from the city as terrified Ukrainians continue to flee their homes. It comes after Russia was accused of killing seven people, including a child, who were making a last-ditch attempt to flee the war zone. Ukraine's intelligence service accused Russia of firing at a convoy of civilian evacuees from the village of Peremoha in the Kyiv region. They said in a statement, after the attack, the occupiers forced the remnants of the column to turn back to Peremoha and are not letting them out of the village. Russians shot a column of women and children while trying to evacuate from the village of Peremoha in the Kyiv region along an agreed green corridor. Russia has denied targeting civilians since it invaded Ukraine, and blamed Ukraine for repeated stumbles in efforts to evacuate people from the worst hit areas, including the southern port city of Mariupol. And tragically, Zelensky said earlier on Saturday that the conflict meant some small Ukrainian towns no longer existed. But the president today warned the Russians would only be able to take control of Kyiv if they raise it to the ground as the Ukrainian president confirmed around 1,300 of his troops had been killed since the conflict began. Meanwhile, a Russian rocket today destroyed a Ukrainian airbase near a city in Kyiv Oblast amid escalating conflict around the capital, with footage showing a ferocious fire at the site. World War II tank trap in the Kyiv Museum is used as a barricade in the capital credit, Getty. Footage shows a fire at an airbase in Vasil Kyiv, near Kyiv credit, Reuters. According to Vasil Kyiv Mayor Natalia Balasinovich, an ammunition depot was also hit as footage on social media appeared to show smoke billowing from the scene. Kyiv Oblast police said a fire broke out at the depot after being struck by six Russian missiles. But Ukrainian forces are continuing to defend as shells rain down across the country 17 days into the war. As Putin's invasion continues to stall, the Ukraine's defense unit has claimed an enemy control point in the Kyiv direction has been destroyed after being blasted from the air as it declared our air force is working in a tweet. It comes as Russia is feared to be planning another major assault on Ukraine's capital Kyiv, as troops have been pictured moving towards the city. Satellite images show Russian tanks and other vehicles heading towards Kyiv, while other aerial footage appears to reveal military equipment being stationed outside the capital. Images appear to show the infamous 40-mile death convoy of Russian vehicles stalled near Kyiv for almost two weeks has now dispersed, as rocket artillery has moved into firing positions for an assault on the city. On Friday, the UK Defence Ministry claimed Russia is likely to want to resume its offensive in Kyiv in the coming days. Meanwhile, Maxar Technologies said Russian troops have been firing artillery toward residential areas as fresh imagery appears to show homes and buildings on fire in the village of Moshun just 17 miles from Kyiv. But Ukraine remains defiant as officials say Kyiv is ready to fight as presidential adviser Mihailo Podolyak branded it a city under siege and confirmed checkpoints were prepared. Meanwhile, a Ukrainian MP has said the fight for Kyiv will be Russia's new Stalingrad if they want to make it so. Speaking on BBC's Radio 4 Today program, Sviatoslav Yura said, It's a massive town of millions and if the Russians try to come in they will have quite a fight on their hands, this will be their Stalingrad if they want to make it so. It comes as Volodymyr Zelensky has said Ukraine has reached a strategic turning point in its conflict against Russia as he urged Ukrainians to be patient. In a video message, Ukraine's president said, I know that many people have started to feel tired. Vasilkiv was struck by Russian missiles credit, Reuters. 
Ukrainian officials claims its air force has destroyed an enemy control point in the Kyiv direction credit, defense of Ukraine. The 40 km Russian convoy is reported to have separated ahead of a fresh Kyiv offensive credit, EPA. Zelensky insisted the country is moving towards victory as troops have reached a turning point. In his latest video address, Zelensky said, the Russian troops are suffering great losses. It comes after a senior Moscow diplomat said Russia may target Western shipments of military equipment to Ukraine after Joe Biden warned of World War III. The warning came after Biden personally halted plans to send MiG fighter jets from Poland to Ukraine, saying that a direct conflict between Russia and NATO would be catastrophic. Military equipment is pictured being moved into position just miles from Kyiv credit, Reuters. The city of Kyiv is being transformed into a fortress credit, Getty. Urpin, just outside Kyiv, has seen weeks of heavy fighting credit, Getty. Meanwhile, at least 1,582 civilians have been slaughtered in the besieged city Mariupol after 12 days of non-stop Russian bombardments, its council revealed. Hundreds of thousands of people are trapped in Mariupol, including 3,000 babies and 50,000 children, according to city officials. Russian forces pounding the port city shelled a mosque sheltering more than 80 people, including children, the Ukrainian government said on Saturday. Help those fleeing conflict with the Sun's Ukraine fund pictures of women and children fleeing the horror of Ukraine's devastated towns and cities have moved Sun readers to tears. Many of you want to help the 5 million caught in the chaos, and now you can, by donating to the Sun's Ukraine fund. Give as little as £3 or as much as you can afford and every penny will be donated to the Red Cross on the ground helping women, children, the old, the infirm and the wounded.